What is up, everybody? I'm Jared, and I'll be going over my core four of MLB picks for prize picks today. If you're new here, make sure to hit like and subscribe. That way we know that you're following along with the picks. Also helps you to get notified when these shows are posted. We do them just about every single day. And if you're not currently playing on prize picks and you want to give that site a try, if you sign up there using promo code WINDAILY, get you 100% deposit match up to $100. We'll also go ahead and throw in a free 60-day trial period of Win Daily Gold and get you access to all of our daily articles, get you access to our Discord. So go ahead and sign up there today using promo code Win Daily. So if we do a recap of yesterday, we had some mixed results. Um, Xander Bogarts hit pretty easily. Uh, Jordan Montgomery pitched the gem last night. He hit uh, Lindor. He really struggled last night, even though the Mets scored seven runs. Um, it was the right environment. Lindor just didn't come through. And then Tommy Pham, um, he ended up with a couple singles, got stranded on third uh, late in the game, which would have put him over a seven hitter fantasy score. Uh, but all in all, we went two and two with our core four yesterday. Today, it is Saturday, and we'll look to go four and zero. Oh. So it is Saturday again. There are games all across the different times today, but we're going to focus on the night games. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in. The first pick that we are going to go with today is going to be Pete Alonzo and his half run. Um, this is just going to be a game that I'm going to be attacking in both prize picks and DFS tonight. The New York Mets take on Patrick Corbin. Uh, Corbin is a gas can. Uh, he is just an awful pitcher. Over the last month, Corbin's pitched to a six and a half ERA, and he's also given up five homers in 18 innings of work, uh, and he's also given up nine barrels in those 18 innings. Um, he continues to get hit hard. He has a nearly 50% hard hit rate over the last month against him. Um, he's just struggles. If you look at the box scores over the last two games, it's a bit of a mirage. He hasn't given up too much, um, but he's also given up multiple barrels in each of those games. And he's also given up 50% hard hit rate in both of those games. So sometimes you have to look past the box score and see what's actually happened. He got pretty lucky, uh, tonight. He's not going to get as lucky, um, with the Mets. Um, also with, with, uh, Corbin, you want to attack him with righties, righties have a slugging percentage well over 500 versus him this year and also a Woba of nearly 400. Um, I'm going to attack him with two Mets today. The first one's going to be Pete Alonzo um, and his half run. Alonzo is the heart and soul of this team. He homered last night. If we look at what he's done over the last month, no Met has scored more runs than him. He scored 18 runs over the last month. Um, he's also done extremely well against Corbin in his career. That's mostly due to a pitch type that uh, Corbin throws. Corbin throws his sinker a ton, uh, and this is just a pitch especially from lefties that Pete Alonzo has absolutely crushed in his career. Uh, Alonzo has already homered five terms, five times versus Corbin in his career. Wouldn't be surprised to take him. To, wouldn't be surprised to see him take Corbin deep again tonight. Uh, so we're going to go with this oat with the over on this half run uh, for Pete Alonzo. Mets have a pretty high run total of uh, five tonight. The next one that we are going to go with is we're going to go with his teammate, Starling Marte, and his eight, eight hitter fantasy score. But to be honest, if you go with this half run, I expect him to score a run um, also tonight. Um, Marte has really had a solid, solid season with the Mets. Um, he's also been coming around against lefties. He started the season pretty slow against lefties. Uh, but if we look at what he's done over the last month, he's got a 231 ISO. So he's starting to show some, some strong power versus lefties. Um, he's also done really well against lefty sinkers in his career. He's got a 400 Woba and an ISO over 212. Um, so just like Alonzo, he's set up to do really well tonight. Uh, he's also been pretty hot of late outside of last night's clunker. Really, Marte and Lindor were the only two that Mets that didn't uh, produce last night. I expect Marte to produce big time tonight in a great matchup. Our model has him at 11 tonight, so there's definitely some wiggle room and value with that eight-hitter fantasy score. So we're going to lock in the over on that eight-hitter fantasy score. Next one that we're going to do is we're going to do Cedric Mullins and his seven and a half hitter fantasy score. Love the Orioles tonight. Uh, they get a great matchup against Adam um, Aller. Um, Aller is someone that's really due for some negative regression. He has just a 3.03 ERA over the last month, but he also has an XFIP of six. So it's almost three runs higher. A lot of that's due to his inability to strike batters out. He essentially pitches to contact. Hitters have an 85% contact rate versus him over the last month. He's also giving up a massive fly ball rate. Um, so with it going to be hot in Baltimore tonight, the ball should be flying. Um, he's also been extremely lucky 
Over the last month, he has a low Babbitt of just 237. Really, anytime you're between two and 250, uh, or even below 250, um, it, you really see a pitcher that's getting lucky. Um, at some point, especially with a pitcher that's giving up an 85% contact rate, at some point, those balls are going to drop. And then it is going to drop tonight against a really hot team in the Orioles. Uh, with Mullins, we have someone that's really picked up in the second half. He struggled to start the year, um, but over the last month, he's done really well. If you look at what he's done since August 16th, which is about a three-week stretch, he has just one game where he hasn't had a hit. He didn't have a hit last night, but he just walked in his only plate appearance. Uh, he'll have the platoon advantage tonight. Wouldn't be surprised to see a, a leadoff double or even a leadoff homer out of him tonight against Adam Aller. Um, our model has him at 11, so there's a lot of value in there with the 7.5 for fantasy score. So we're going to go with the over on Cedric Mullins. And the next one that we're going to go with is going to be Madison Bumgarner. I know. I normally attack him with hitters, but tonight he gets a nice matchup against the Brewers. If you look at what the Brewers have done against lefties, it's been pretty bad. If we look at the projected lineup tonight, the Brewers' uh, projected lineup has a more than a 29% strikeout rate versus lefties. I attack them all the time with lefties, and more often than not, it's been pretty successful. M Madison Bumgarner, he is a shell of what he used to be with the Giants, um, but if we look at what he's done recently, he's had some games where he has dialed it back with the Ks. He struck out six Giants a couple weeks ago. He also struck out eight Pirates a couple weeks ago, too. So he still has some K ability, and there's some K upside in this game against the Brewers team that really strikes out a lot against lefties. Um, our model has him over five strikeouts tonight, so I do like this the, the over on the four strikeouts. So if we do a recap of where we're looking today, uh, we're going to go with the over on Pete Alonzo and his run. We're going to go with the over on Starling Marte and his eight-hitter fantasy score. Again, if you want to swap it out for the run for Marte, 100% do that. He's going to score a run tonight. So either one works. We're going to go with the over on the Cedric Mullen seven and a half for fantasy score. And we're going to go with the over on the Madison Bumgarner strikeouts. So that's our core for today. If you end up using them, make sure to hit like and subscribe. That way we know that you're following along with the picks. Also, if you ever have any questions about your own picks, just make sure to drop some notes in the comments. Always happy to answer any questions that you may have. It's Saturday. Let's go 4-0. Oh. Good luck, everybody.